Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the end of October. I know, right? Where did all the time go? It's almost the end of the year now and in the blink of an eye, one year has just gone past. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into my favourite products of October. First thing first, I'm gonna start off with some skincare products that I have been enjoying a lot throughout the past two months, I would say. These are the Galan Abel Royal Collection. Abel Royal is one of the more premium range of Galan and it's made up of premium like bee, honey. I have been loving the Youth Watery Oil. This oil is something like a booster. You use it immediately after your toner, like a lotion. This actually does not feel oily at all. I know the name Watery Oil just sounds very contradictory, but it really is what it is. It's a watery oil. Like It's an oil that feels like water simply because it is not oily on your skin. And I like that it really plums my skin. It really helps to give me that radiant glow. And at the same time, it helps to boost whatever skincare I put on on top of that. Then I'll go in with my Abel Royal Double R Renew and Repair Serum. So this serum actually has like two sides like this. And once you press the top, it comes out together at once. It is slightly more rich. So I would highly recommend those of you who have normal to oily skin to only use it at night. Lastly, I go in with the B Glow. So it is also another a very rich moisturizer but I feel that this entire range really just helps to plump up my skin make it really radiant and once you try it you really can feel the quality of the skincare no doubt it is very expensive but I have actually really seen good results <laughs> with my skin um, and this entire range especially if you're in your 20s or your 30s and above and you're looking into like anti-aging skincare I would suggest to invest in a good set of skincare that works another favorite that I have been loving when it comes to your skin is my Fankle tense up. So this is actually a collagen drink. I am still pretty young and a lot of you guys are like, do you actually really need the collagen? I mean, even though it doesn't show on my face yet, every single day we are losing collagen and definitely the amount of collagen we take in our food is not enough. So the people at Fanko highly recommend us to start taking collagen, especially when we are in like our mid-20s because once you know, you see signs of aging, it's too late. I have been loving the Fankle Tense app. I wouldn't say I really see like dramatic effects because um, it really is about replenishing the collagen that you're losing. So in a way, it's kind of like slowing down the aging process. But I really did notice my skin becoming more like bouncy. It's not only just me because every time I go to like my Yaxon or my facial, they will always be like, you know, your skin is really dry and sensitive. But one thing is it's amazing how it's still really firm and bouncy. This one actually tastes very yummy. So so it's not like the other old school like collagen drinks that actually taste like fish. Like trust me, I have tasted some that really taste so bad, it tastes like fish. It just scared me away. This one tastes like a very nice orange drink, it tastes like vitamin C. So it's actually really good for you. I will be talking about my earrings over here. I actually got this from Korea. I really like it because it just reminds me of like grapes that look like pearls. Very dainty, it's very small, it's very light. So that's the main thing about my earrings. I don't like big earrings that are just very heavy. So I always feel very conscious, like I'll be like, no, it's gonna tear my earlobe. <laughs> Next product I have been loving a lot is my Etude House Brow Volumizer. So it actually is a brow gel that has color. And I like that it actually has fibers in it as well. And the color of it is actually pretty opaque. So I can actually tint my brows and at the same time add more volume to it because it has fibers in it. It actually lasts very long. This is the shade 02 Natural Brown and I got it in Korea as well. Let's not forget. This is the Etude House Coffee To Go Eyeshadow Palette. I really, really love it. Like number one, the packaging is so sleek and thin. And the colours are just so beautiful. They are very easy to blend, they're pigmented, and they're just so complimentary. I like that they also included a few other shimmery shades, some mattes, some satins. It also has a dark shade over here that is kind of good for, you know, your outer corners and stuff. A really big and long mirror. 
and the best part, it's so thin, so it just fits very nicely into my purse. I would highly recommend this one if you're on the go all the time because you have a lot of shades, and they're very portable and you will never run out of it. Another one that I got from Korea is this single shadow from Innisfree. This is in the shade number 12. So I really like this because it is a very big chunky shadow and it goes very very nicely on the center of the lids. Especially if you're into that Korean style makeup, this is really really good. And on top of that, it's so affordable and it's really really small and sleek. I love Innisfree's packaging because it's very clean looking and I can just straight away see the colour right there. This is the Play 101 stick from Etude House. Etude House recently rolled these out. These are the newer version and they are obviously bigger in size because the previous one, like you would just run out in like three weeks or one month if you use it every day. This one is also more long lasting. It's a little bit harder to blend but at the same time, it's not as waxy as the old formula which is what I like because it just lasts longer. I really like how easy and convenient it is to use. So I can just like apply some over here and I'll blend it out and show you guys. So this is the highlighting side and what I would do is I would just take my beauty blender, blend it out. And instantly, it just brightens up your entire face. I feel that this is the kind of product that even if you're not wearing makeup, you can wear it alone and just kind of enhance your features. This is one of my favourite cushions of all time now. Like, I love it to bits. This is the Be My Cushion from the brand Yada. I recently posted on YouTube um, this Get Ready With Me Sweet Pink Makeup look and also a first impression of this brand called Yada Cosmetics which I've never heard before but they sent me a bunch of things so I decided to try it out for you guys on camera. I was so sold by this cushion and ever since then I have been using it every single day. It has a light to medium coverage and of course it's pretty buildable if you really want to build it up but I really like that it's so natural. It lasts really long, it lasted about like Six to eight hours, it has a semi-matte kind of finish and you look really healthy but at the same time, you are not like oily to the touch and it doesn't give you that like fingerprint marks and all that. So highly, highly, highly recommend this. If you're looking for an everyday cushion and if you're of like a similar skin tone to me, something like an N23 for Laneige and all of like the Korean brands and if you're not looking for something that will leave you with a white cast, Go for this. That's it from me, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Mongavong. And I would love to talk to you guys in the comments. I'll see you next time.